Hey gang and welcome to your 14th REST API tutorial and in this video we're finally going to get onto handling our GET requests. Okay, so in the last tutorial we set up this geo schema right here which defined the kind of structure of our geo coordinates that we have to give to our ninjas and we added it to the ninja model. So when we create a new ninja, we're gonna give it some data which looks a bit like this, okay? So what I wanna do first of all is post that data to our API so we can add all these different ninjas with different geo locations. So I've already prepared those ninjas right here. So what I'm gonna do is just copy these and I'm gonna post them using Postman. So if we come to Postman and change this to Post, get rid of that right there and just add in a few of these. I'm gonna delete that. Okay, so you can see now we've got this geometry right here, this property and the type is point and the coordinates are minus 80 and 25.791. So this is longitude, this is latitude. So if we send this now, then hopefully we should get those back. Yep, okay, and we've added that to the database. So what I'm just gonna quickly do is add all of these and then I'm gonna fast forward to when I've done it. Okay, so now I've added all of those different ninjas with different geometry properties at the different longitude and latitudes. And we can see that in RoboMongo, we can see all these different objects now. We've got seven in total, each with a different longitude and latitude. Okay, so different locations on a map, so to speak. So now what we wanna do is set up our get request to retrieve these based on longitude and latitude. So first of all, let's go to our api.js routes file and delete this which is just sending a simple object as a response in this get request handler. So the first thing I wanna show you is just how we would normally find all of our ninjas, okay? So say for example, we weren't doing geolocation and we just performed a get request to get all of the ninjas, right? So we could say something like this, ninja, which is this model right here, dot find, this is a mongoose method, and if we pass in an empty object like that, this is gonna go out and find all ninjas, okay, and return them to us. So then we could say, dot then, once this is complete, use this callback function with the ninjas, okay, it returns those ninjas to us that it's found, and then we could say, response dot send, and send the ninjas to the user or the client. So that's to return all of them but we don't wanna do that in our application. What we wanna do is pass along a longitude and latitude and then search for ninjas which are near those longitude and latitude coordinates. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're gonna make use of URL parameters and this is not to be confused with request parameters like this. URL parameters are something totally different. So when we make a request in the URL, we can add on parameters using this notation right here. So this is the route from here to here that we go to for our get request, forward slash API, forward slash ninjas. Then we can add on URL parameters using this question mark at the end and then specifying the different key and value pairs. So this is the name of a parameter or a variable and this is the value after the equal sign. And if we want to add another one, we're doing a little ampersand and and sign, and then say the other variable name is equal to whatever. So when we make a get request, we're going to be passing along a longitude variable or parameter and a latitude parameter. And we're going to be specifying what those are. So then when we query the database, we're only going to be looking for ninjas within a certain radius of these coordinates. So ninjas that are nearby. So this is what we're going to be using to make our request. Okay, so imagine we've made that get request with those different URL parameters on it, a longitude and latitude. How do we then query the database to find ninjas which are nearby? Well, we can use something called GeoNear, and it's a method. And GeoNear is gonna look for coordinates which are nearby to the ones we've provided. So it makes things really simple. So we can say ninja.geoNear, and this is gonna perform a GeoNear query. So, this is a function which is gonna take some parameters right now. The first one is gonna be an object, and inside this object, we need to say the type, right? And remember, this is a point that we're looking for on a map. A ninja is a point. We said that right here in the model, where we said the type is a point right there, okay? So, the type here is also point. So I'm gonna say point. And then also the coordinates 
that we're looking for that we want a ninja to be nearby to are going to be what's on the URL parameters. So we'll pass through the coordinates property right here and set that equal to an array because we're passing two through and the first one is the longitude and the second one is the latitude. Now the way we access the URL parameters is by saying request.query and then we can say lng for longitude that's going to be on the query string and then also we can say request.query this refers to the query string dot lat that's going to be the name of the other variable on the query string in those url parameters right so that's fine but what we want to actually do is provide a number here because we said over here that these are numbers right so these need to be numbers however when they come in from a query string a url parameter they are strings so we need to use a method called parse floats which is going to turn this into a number so we can do that on both of these dudes parse floats and pass that in just like so okay cool so that's the first thing the first object that we pass in to this geonear function we're saying it's a type of point and then the coordinates that we want it to be nearby to the next object we're going to pass into this is basically some options where we can say the max distance that we want to be from these points so these points are the ones that are um, provided by our user by our client and we want to say okay well we'll look for ninjas which are within what max distance from these points okay so I'm just gonna pass in and this is in meters I'm gonna pass in um, 10 or rather a hundred thousand meters like that we don't need the M but I'm just showing you these are meters right so that's the first thing so all these ninjas are gonna be within 100,000 meters of whatever we provide here the second option is spherical true so it's gonna work out the distance based on a sphere you know that we had that world image it's going to base the distance based on that sphere okay okay so this is going to return to us a promise so we can say dot then and fire a function which is only going to fire once this is complete this query so this is going to go out find the ninjas which are within 100,000 meters of these coordinates provided and then it's going to return to us this function or rather it's not going to return to us this function it's going to return to us the ninjas inside this callback function which it will fire when it's completed okay so then we can say response.send and we can send those ninjas back to the client okay so if we save this now we can test this out using postman okay so i'm going to change this to get request and then I'm going to specify my URL here, which is forward slash API forward slash ninjas. And then we're going to add on some parameters. OK, so the key of the first parameter is going to be the longitude. That's LNG. And let's just set this equal to about minus 80. OK, and then we're going to attach another one, a key here, which is going to be latitude. And this value is going to be roughly about 25. OK. So notice this string they've made up here. They've added that question mark, then longitude equals minus 80 and latitude equals 25. So we can access these now in here. That's what we're doing, request query LNG, request query LAT, okay? So if we send this now, hopefully this is gonna to return to us some ninjas which are nearby. So if we send this, then we can see our response down here. So we get three ninjas. The first one is Hitaki. This is the distance in meters away from us. Okay, and all the different properties associated with that ninja. Then we get Yoshi, and also we get Ryu. And notice they're in kind of descending order. So the one that's nearest to us is first, then the one that's second nearest to us, then the one that's third nearest to us. And these are the only ones that are within this radius right here. Okay, make sense? So there we go, that is how we can set up our get request to perform geo near queries to return only the ninjas that are near to us based on the parameters that we provide right here in the get request. So now we know how to do that, we've sorted out all of our different handlers right here. We're in a position now where we can kind of just flesh out a little simple front end 
using React um, so we can interact with this API. So I'm going to do that over the next couple of tutorials.